when I met him in person, he had like the worst posture yeah. I had ever seen immediately unattracted. Yeah. And I was like, this isn't going to work out. Of course. Like you, and they, I literally they, left and I was like, why is that? I, was like, I just had two hours with my guys today explaining to them, some of you look like you walk like a duck and you look like the first guy I would absolutely, if I was a mugger, I would mug you. You don't look like you can run. You look like you have no athleticism whatsoever. And you look like you're going to be someone's girlfriend if you go to in prison. Yes, I'm a performance coach. This is what I tell these guys. Wow. Like, look, you need to look like there is some boundary Don't around you. Do they teach you. us in the military, too, to walk straight? Yeah. yeah Someone told to. me that. Of course, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, for sure. They teach you that. I and mean, that's part of the reason why. Like, there's a really great study. Uh, Joe Rogan talks about it, where they, they take people who have been convicted of muggings before, and they say, they show them the images of people walking and they ask him, which, why would you mug this person versus this person? And they go, they, they see some guy and he's like prior military ball fade. And the guy walks with his toes painted, like his feet facing forward mm -hmm. and they're parallel to one another. And he walks with a sense of purpose and you, he can, cl he can clearly see his environment. And he's, they're like, there's no way I would mug that guy. That guy looks like you would go grab him and the elbow comes right up to the face, like immediately yeah, yeah. quick action. That's what that guy looks like. And then they would see some guy with the, he's, he's got a torso shaped like a marshmallow and his knees are locked out and he's walking like he's duck walking and he's going side by side. I was like, for sure, I'm going to mug that guy. Take his wallet. He's not going to catch me. P punch the guy. He's going to fall down. He doesn't have any balance or any lower body strength or upper body muscle. Clearly, that's the guy I would go after. Men do not realize that they're constantly being judged on that. Men by men and women. Dude, I was the same height I am now with the same head I have now, 50 pounds lighter. Just imagine what I was like. 50 pounds lighter? So you were skinny? I was skin scrawny with acne and like this weird freaking hair and nearsighted it and i was so awkward That's i was so I was, cute though. i was i was really strong and i had really good balance because i played i played on the offensive line but like i was so awkward i couldn't walk I, and i had a, a spinal deformity so i would walk with my feet what? out like a duck you know how some people who are like super unathletic their knees are locked in mm -hmm. and they walk like it i would so they got call me ducky that's what was my uh nickname. i kind of have duck feet too yeah like I mean, my, they like kind of naturally yeah, go like this. it was something you have to, if you I, I recommend people get on the squat rack and turn your toes in pigeon toed and then do squats like that to like reform the shape of the muscles and then start getting into athletic endeavors that cause you to use your hips and knees for explosion as because what happens is unathletic people what they'll do is they'll use their knee they'll lock their knees out and they'll use their calf muscles for stability side to side. They'll point their toes out. If you point your toes forward, that's where athletic movement is. That's how you sprint. Correct. And so that's now I'm activating quads and glutes instead of just trying to use my calf muscles for stability. Wow. That sense? probably explains why I got like really bad knee problems too, because I never tried sure. to fix and like yeah. get those stabilizer muscles. Yeah, I would do that. That's what I would do. I would okay. do lots of extensions and then also like yeah. the, the Bulgarian hack squats and the Romanian deadlifts. I forgot yes. what they're, they're called. That's those are the things I would do. Cool, cool, cool. To, to isolate those. There's one service. Survey. It's in Rich Cooper's book where they refer, I think it's a UK survey, I believe, 71% of attractiveness that women find towards men is upper body muscle. You know what's so funny that you say that? Because mm -hmm. there was actually a guy that I was like online dating mm -hmm. for eight months, which is kind of common in, in my sphere. Sure. And for Twitch especially. And when I met him in person, he had like the worst posture yeah. I had ever seen immediately unattracted yeah and i was like this isn't gonna work out of course like you, and i literally left and i was like why is that i was like am i shallow let's go let's go way down this path right there's the selfish gene by richard dawkins right here and behind yes. me is evolutionary psychology textbook by dr david Buss. definitely heard that one before. right so so the the concept just consider the concept you and i one thing we know about our ancestors there's one thing we know about it what do we know every single one of our ancestors a consecutive line of having of successfully having sex we, we know that <laughs> obviously unequivocally yes, yes. yes we know that all of our ancestors no matter how far we got it is a broken chain of reproductive success we don't know anything else about them but we know that one thing yeah so what we need to look at is throughout that that those things the things that aided in survival and replication those things would be passed on and the mm. things that didn't would not be passed on let's use extreme examples let's say you had a potential ancestor who had no fear of heights then they jump off a cliff and then they're not your ancestor anymore because their genetics are weeded out of existence mm. you have another ancestor who has no fear of snakes or tigers or drowning or fear of fire or fear of uh you know whatever just some other disaster some other thing yeah. that could kill them and they end up dying because of their excessive amounts of risk taking does that right, make sense right or their lack of it's not even risk taking they just walk up to a snake like it's a puppy they would end up being dead right which so is you, good because you don't want that correct right mm -hmm. but they didn't know that at the time they're living in the ancestral period right so now you at the same time you're looking at this guy and you see bad posture your ancestors the, the genetics that your ancestors have left behind for you in your brain that's what evolutionary psychology mm -hmm. is, means natural selection 
is applied to your psychology. Those proclivities that you have are telling you, this man cannot defend me when Genghis Khan shows up and tries to rape the village. This man has no ability to conduct violence on my behalf because he does not have any lower body coordination. You quickly see that as a woman. And also, oh. most likely, you're subconsciously saying his lack of coordination and poor posture probably would equal bad sex as well. So those things that you think subconsciously cause you to quickly say, I'm not interested in this. Men will see women who have a lack of facial symmetry and be turned off by them. Why is that the lack of facial symmetry? Because it shows a lack of health and I'm supposed to have children with this woman. And so these bad genetic, again, does it wow. make it? Does it make our species shallow? Incredibly shallow. Incredibly shallow. But there's like so much reasoning behind it. Correct. It makes so much sense. Correct. Yeah. But, so, but the reasoning why Joy Behart and Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey will give you is because they're bad people. There's not bad people. It's evolution. Yeah. It's evolution. That's the reason why. Survival of the fittest. Uh, so, no, it's actually, that's, well, a, that's a misnomer. So it's funny. Survival of the fittest was not in the first copy of the origin on origin of species by Charles Darwin. It was later evolutionary biologists who came up with that term. But that's an incorrect term. It is survival of the fit enough to replicate. Survival of the fit enough to replicate. That's actually what the, the correct term is. You don't have to be the fittest. You have to be fit enough to have children. And then you can die right afterwards. And your genes still get passed along.